This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Now, like always, guys, pick whichever one interests you. These are going to be extraordinary. Similar, print the word links, get total to get the total of all the words. This one we're adding. Write the method get longest word to return the longest. And write the method replace words to find the replace for any word that has a length less than six. Huh. Okay. Regardless, what they're making us practice is looping through an array. So I'm going to do this one. Print the word lengths to print the length of each word in the word in the uh, word list. All right. So let's go ahead and take out look at word checker. Obviously, we're gonna we're going to have to loop through the words. We have two options for four. Right. As always, we could do our standard. You know, four int i equals zero. I is going to be less than words dot what dot length. Uh uh. It's going to be dot size because it's uh words is an array list. So for an array list, we got to remember that's going to be dot size and then I plus plus to increment or force uh, our counter our I to go up by one each time. So I will always be less than the length of the list. We're starting at index zero, which is great. It's the first word. And we're going to uh, increase by one each time. What do we need? We need to print the length of each word in the words list. Oh, that is tricky. Interesting. So what they're having us do is, okay, we need to get the length of each word for starters. Now, you might be tempted. Let me just show you system.out.println. Let's do this real quick. Um, words. Uh, I. Okay, so I'm just going to print the words to start. Now I have to initialize or call print words. Do we initialize? Print words is static, so I can just do, it looks like, I can just do word checker dot and call it directly. Print word lengths and then do words. Now let's see if there's an issue. There is. And what is it? Well, this is an array list, not a standard array. So that's not going to work. What we need to be doing is using our dot get. As always, you use your documentation if you're unsure. Java array list right here. But we need to use a dot get. So let's try that real quick. Boom. Let's see if it works. Boom. So that's at least printing them out. Now, what we actually need, though, is the length of each word. Now, how do we get the length of a string? Is that length? Is it length quotes? Is it size? Well, here, blah, quapa, compared to equals index length with quotes. Guys, please use these. It gets confusing because in Java, length without quotes is for an array, but length with is for a string, and this is a array list of strings. So we're supposed to print out the size, um, and I might just do a. There's a bunch of different ways we could do this. And then I'm going to use actually my sit, my print here. And I might even, you don't have to put something in front of this, but I'll just say size. And then I'll do word dot length with quotes for a string. Yes, that is looking good. Now, a few things. There's a hundred ways to be correct on this. I could just move this down here directly and not use a variable. I think it's more readable if I use a variable, but I could do this, sure. Um, the other thing that I could do is we can always use an enhanced for loop, right? And so if I wanted to, let me pound that out and talk about it. Okay, and so this will just print below this, but that's fine just to show you. Boom, right there. So we have a few options on how to be correct on this, which is kind of the fun thing about code. There's often more than one way to do things. But uh, yeah, cool. Onward. Um,